Wilmot and welcome. I am Shades Daughter on the mic I'm called Shades. And kind of late start to today. I I was actually kind of enjoying sleeping in a warm house. <laughs> Overslept by a lot more than I had intended to sleep today. So this is a very late start to today's stream. I'm going to chat about bears and bear safety. A couple of days ago, I was doing a stream with a buddy of mine, Majestic Decay, stopped in and he, we were chatting and stuff. And I was all the way over here and I ended up, there we go, I think it was that cabin or that little shed right there. This little wayside restroom. And I found one of the collectibles in the game that was on black bears. And I want to go back and grab that. Because just after I found the collectible, I lost the collectible when... There was a horde in that area. And they kind of ate my face. So, I lost the collectible almost as soon as I found it. And, oh dear, I didn't sleep on that bed, so it's nighttime, I think. Kind of hard to tell, but yeah, there's freakers out. I really should have stayed a little bit longer there, but that's okay. I can avoid some freaks. I did refill my gas, though. So, okay. No nitrous installed. Of course there's no nitrous installed because this bike is a POS. Something I need to work on. Oh, my roommate walked in the house last night and... I was editing one of the earlier videos, taking a look at things, making sure it came out okay. And he, he looked over at me and informed me that I now hold the record for swearing in the house. And it occurred to me that, yeah, when the enemies in the game start taking off after me, I have a bad habit of talking like a drunk sailor. So I don't normally... <laughs> so I'm going to have to start working on making sure I don't do that. And, oh, why is that sound within... Why is that within that cave? That's making me really uneasy. Okay, get off the bike. There is something here that... I think it's on the other side of the cave. No, I want, I want the headlight this time. I want to know what's there. What the hell happened here? Uh... Wonder if they left anything worth the effort. Okay. That's what's going on. That's what the sound is. Somebody just got killed. Is that the only freaker in here? in this direction. Hey, Frick, I think there's something behind you. Drifters got themselves ambushed by freaks. I should have been a little bit quicker. I might have been able to help save their lives. Doubtful, but... Kind of looks like they were taken out before I got here. I just heard the end of the battle. Okay. I'm going to step here by this blue truck and I'm going to jump off because there's a bunch of stuff to collect. There we go. And 
there's anything back there worth grabbing, so... And I don't need to open that up because I've got enough scrap. I'd rather save that scrap for another time. Scrap. Ooh. Oh, no, it's getting by. Well, not as much stuff as I thought there was to collect. Okay. Didn't leave enough of him to search. That was a scrap, though. Top off my. Hey, get off the bike. What are you doing? I was stuck just enough between them things to not be able to do that. I'm going to pick up this one so that, that one is still sitting there when I come back. But I'll see it more easily. If it's still sitting there. It should be. I think the bikes will disappear, but I think that scrap is natural to this area. Really should focus on clearing out tunnels a bit around this place. Okay. Yeah, I was up this way a couple of days ago, and I did a lot of running around. I believe the video is my one that I says I was running around and running out of gas. Oh, shit, that's right. I gotta finish burning out these nests. When I was over here, I ended up being chased around by some freakers. Chased me pretty much across the entire side of this map back and forth. They, they didn't actually chase me, but I was trying to avoid freakers. I didn't have my bike because I ran it into the middle of a really bad nest yeah, area. Come back later and finish burning out these nests. Oh, don't run into the car. Okay, we got some speed now. Oh, wait! Ah! Uh, that was my turn. Don't you grab me. Oh, shit! Heal! Speaking of freakers chasing me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. If I can just make it over this hill. Come on, come on. Where's my bike? About to use up one of my medic packs, but come on, get on the bike, get on the bike. There we go. All right. Headlight. Oh, back up. And get off the bike again. Come on, get down. 
Alright. Now I should be nice and hidden from them. I have used up all my medical packs. It always defaults to using the medical pack, and I don't like that. Well, actually, I do like that, because a lot of the time I'm down to nearly zero health by the time I get medical repairs done, so... Yes, it does. It is nice that that defaults to the medical pack. It's just annoying to use them all when I really don't intend to. Where are you, little freak? It's right behind that rock. Got at least two, three, four. Mm, oh my. I really should have stayed the night before I headed out here. There's a lot of them. And that's right. I died before I cleared out that bandit camp over there, or did the bandits move back in? No, I came back and I cleared out that bandit camp, so they moved back in. Oh, son of a bitch! Son of a... Okay. No, 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 no! Oh, shit. Don't you grab me. Okay. We gotta get the hell out of here. Because that was way too many freaks called out on my head. And there's way too many freaks over here. Please have a stamina cocktail, please. Oh, good. Ah, oh, hell, I'm about to call out a bunch more freaks just after I lose those guys. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! I think I just broke my leg and then my neck jumping over that little, little incline. Mm -hmm. Ow. Okay, I don't like being out in the middle of this. Let's get up here and see what I'm... where I'm at. Oh, man. I think I'm back where the freak... Yeah, I'm back at the town where the nests are. Okay. Yep. There's the barn. Oh, man. That was not good at all. Do I have my medical stuff back? I do. Good. I got my medical kits. So that's something at least. Okay. What if I should just take that as a hint to hang around here, clear out a couple of nests, and then go grab my bear poster and everything? the road ahead. I am trying to get to here. I need gas. I have 
map and know where there's a gas station right across the way up here, so. rocks oh this is gonna damage my bike okay I'm gonna sneak up quietly shit there's someone here where are they where's that freak there's uh Okay, as long as it doesn't come running at the sound of my bike restarting. And there's a gas station directly across from me now. Years ago, I was driving through, uh, down from Washington into Oregon, California, was heading up down into California area to visit my grandma, and I seem to remember a pancake house, a Paul Bunyan out in front of it, oh, you stupid little freaky child. That's it. I remember a pancake house with Paul Bunyan in front of it. And first thing I thought when I saw this was that trip down to see my grandma and stopping in it. Could make the something out of this. Pancake house. Thank you to Ben Studio for <laughs> reminding me of a really nice time that I had in my lifetime. <laughs> My grandmother was, she was an adorable woman. I, I can't say, I'm not sure adorable is the right word. She was just, I, I had one of the greatest grandmas in the world. She wasn't the kind that you would go over to her house and you'd sit down and bake cookies with her or anything like that. No, my grandmother was more the kind that, she called me into the living room one day and she 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 was a you know a short woman gray hair the classic grandmother type look to her and you never really th I never really thought a lot about her as anything other than just a little old woman who would sit at the dining room table and do crossword puzzles but one day she was sitting in the living room watching TV and I was around thirteen I think. And she called me in and told me that I needed to sit down beside her there and sat, got me to sit down on the floor beside her and pointed at the TV and said I needed to watch the show that she was watching. And it was MacGyver. My grandmother introduced me to MacGyver. And the way she did it was by telling me, you need to watch this show. This guy has a really cute ass. Yeah, my grandma was a fan of Richard Dean Anderson's backside. <laughs> but I, abs I absolutely loved MacGyver. That was one of the best shows of my childhood. And those guys are going to rip my face off if I try to go over there and steal that gas can. I'll take that. Gas can! Look at that, right there. Can I reach it from here? I'm going to have to sneak around the outside over here, but that's okay. I should be able to do that safely enough. Yeah, you go that way. I'm just going to hop over the fence, grab this, and go refill my bike. Watch out for the newts like that one that attacked me inside, by the way. I'm not sure if you caught it or not. 
he was wearing a backpack and he stole one of my bandages. There's a pop-up thing during the game that'll warn you about that. That the newts with backpacks on their backs are actually little pickpockets, and they'll attack you and take off with your stuff. That right there's what to look for. Okay, now. I think I say okay now way too much. Look at all the birds. I think there's another warning at some point during the game that lets you know that where there's birds, there's lots of problems. What do I have? I have identified one nest here. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of nests out here in the farm outside of this area too. I'm not gonna worry about taking out the nests right now though. Oh, something took out something. What happened over here? Little church. Old Wagon Motel. Wait, did I need scrap? Passed a bunch of scrap right there. Why are you chasing me? Don't you chase me. There ain't even anything for me to hide in there. Dang it. Okay, this entire area's been burned. Don't think I can hide in these bushes. She seems to have lost track of me though, so that's okay. Aha, there's a door over here. Is that a plant beside that door too? Oh, I don't need to repair that, okay. I thought I needed to repair my spiked bat. I am full on that stuff. But I could use some healing stuff if there's any of that kicking around there, so let's go ahead and check on that real quick. Let's walk right in the back of a nest. Oh, and here's a gas can. I guess you come to this end of town. So they're having to deal with that little newt and everything. Why do you keep divert to this gun instead of the other one? inside this building and hope I'm not jumping into the middle of a bunch of dudes but I don't usually find enemies when I jump into the buildings I think I've hopped through a window and had a one or two things inside buildings before but usually it's fairly safe to jump through a window There's no way up to the upstairs. Oh, this is like an old bank. No, it's a post office. Okay, it's a post office. With no way upstairs. Dang it. How do I get up to the top store? Here 
we kill their sisters up. Come on, people, I just want to top off my healing supplies before I take off. Bathrooms. Bathrooms can sometimes hold healing supplies, but I don't see any. Okay, one more stop, simply because I am pretty certain I remember there actually being healing supplies in the upstairs over here. For my first playthrough. There's at least a rag here. This one looks like water. Okay, go back into here and go through the next window. There we go. There we go. Cherry bomb in the toilet. I would top off my health and take one of them health packs, but I'm not 100% sure if those respawn or not. And I would rather those be here when I come back to deal with these nests. enough collecting things. Don't, don't tell wolves. We don't need wolves howling. Oh, my bike is on the street out here, so... Sneak through the fence and sneak back over to my bike. Head up the road a little ways. Don't see anything that makes a good marker to aim for, so I'll just take off. Stop where it looks like there's something interesting.
this time of night, that's probably a wolf over there wanting to howl. Especially since it's off the road. I'm gonna make a guess that it's not a survivor. And just ignore it. Dude can just take care of things himself. If it's a survivor. I always wonder though. But yeah, no, that doesn't look like a place where a survivor would be hiding out. Alright, what's ahead of me? There's a little car park straight down ahead of me. There we go, I see a trailer. Oh, don't... Don't ride your bike off of a sheer drop-off. Oh, looky what I see. This is the backside of the Bandits. Gilnap Caves National Monument. I gotta clear the camp. Bunch of murderers and thieves and I can't let any of them escape. No, open it. Okay. There's ammo. See any of them down here? Oh, there's one over there. Okay, Bear Creek Hot Springs. I see you. Very nice of you to mark yourself that way. Do a, I don't have a silencer for it. Ah. Visitors, welcome. We need to practice. Well, they wanted me to come help them practice, so let's just see how they do. Just occurred to me, did I save up my bike? I want to make sure that I'm not thrown halfway across the map. There we go. Now if something goes wrong, I'm going to be back here instead of halfway across the map. Sorry about that. 
and suddenly had to sneeze. Better than being directly behind that sniper ready to attack him and then having to sneeze, I suppose. I don't like the looks of that. I really don't like the looks of that. Would that give me enough of an advantage to go through that way? I think it might. What's the worst going to happen? I get my throat ripped out? Don't go back through there. Where are you going? Deacon says that's not a good idea. <laughs> Come on. I won't let the zombies eat you. Get my controller out. So that he feels more secure about how quickly I can tap the button. There we go. Somebody had a lot of time on their hand to put all that barbed wire up there. Careful, careful, careful. Deacon, come on, crash back down. Damn it, did that guy see me? I'm below the sniper, maybe. <coughs> There's a sniper down there, okay. I see you over there leaning against the wall. I can't see you from down there. There's somebody reading things over there.
Come on, guys. I'm starting to see why you need to practice. A little old lady could sneak in the backside of your camp. You just keep checking out the little shed here. Shit, 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 shit. You didn't see anyone out there. Down. Wait, didn't I just break your neck? Yeah. Trying to figure out what killed his buddy, apparently. Something's here. He thought he could take me. Only that time it wasn't the thought that counted. Okay. I think I need a collar for a cat to wear on my wrist or something like that. Hook it up so that people can shock me every time I say, okay. I <laughs> I say that far too much. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't aiming at you. <laughs> I think I made them uneasy. <laughs> Yeah. 
What do you think now, huh? Some shit's back. How do you like that? She was smart enough to holler for her buddies. Dang, kill him already. Ducking, I think I hit him. Damn, quit ducking right as I pull the trigger. You're making me waste bullets. Oh, she thinks that they got me. Tractor inventory is full. Up and off.
Felipe. I think the rest of this encampment has decided that either their buddies took care of me or they don't want to mess with me. <laughs> Sniper was the last person I saw, but I know there are four left. Suspect people are in the house. Aha, there's one down there by the fence. There's at least one out here. I suspect there's probably some in the lodge. Is that dude down there walking around by the gate? There's another one over there. Right there. That's two accounted for. Three. There's a third one right there. Okay. that sound. Okay. Oh, I found their bunker. There's their bunker at least. I'll go back for this. The fourth one over there somewhere. Might have been just a shadow of the sun moving. Let's bring him up and kill him. Someone's here. No, no one's here. Just it's over there. Something's out here. <laughs> Something's here. We're down to three enemies left. And I know where two of them are. And I know one of them is not the sniper. Hi, sniper. Does this game, does this game have a online mode? Um, no, it doesn't. Good. How are you? I look for your stream. Go for platinum. 
dude, me getting platinum on this game is like a couple of hours worth of work for me at this point. <laughs> Unless, do they count the when they add content in and add new trophies? Do you have to get those ones too to get platinum? No, you don't need to get uh, the Dawn Guard DLC trophies to get the Skyrim platinum. <laughs> okay, so it's, as long as they haven't changed that in any way. I could have platinum and just an hour or so worth of work because I've already got most of the trophies. Um, there's just a few things like the crossbow. You need to kill enemies with every type of crossbow bolt, I think it was. And I have barely used the crossbow at all. No, lady, lady, lady. You heard something behind you. Behind you. See? Yeah, it's over there. There. I know here. Look over there. And there's the fourth one right over there. Okay. I swear I something. Okay. Got you. And you. Oh yeah. Smoking. Just gonna stand there on guard duty and smoke a cigarette, ain't you? Let me save you a life from a lung cancer. Oh, I think that's it. Roads will be a little safer now. I mean, not much, but a little. Oh, we look like the type to have an underground bunker. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, in fact, you already found their underground bunker, so let's just go back over there and get it. Yeah, right there. Bunker. Yes. Here it is. But yeah, I think it's all like three or four trophies that I don't have so far. This is Radio Free Oregon. On the, the main game. She'll set you free. Okay. Many of you probably don't remember the Cold War. But living through it was a special kind of hell. Every time you heard a plane flying overhead, you think for sure that this is it. That's the one. Come and drop the big one on us. And we live through the Red Scare. The man didn't know if his neighbor was an American who bled red, white, and blue. Or a communist red to the bone. It made it hard to trust. My father, God rest him, taught me the only way to be safe in dark times was to go underground. We built my first bunker with him. But we couldn't build it out in the backyard with a neighbor spying. Had to go out into the woods, a ways from the road, where no one would happen upon it. With a bunker, you knew that if the country went to hell in a handbasket, you could open that man up, climb down the ladder, and you'd be safe. With your radio and your hoard of food and ammo. Things haven't changed. Better to dig a bunker than an early grave. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, Cope? How'd that work out for the poor bastards who own the one that I just cleared out? Huh? Not so good, I'm guessing. Since they were all dead long before I ever got there. Okay. Hey, this is handy. A map. All marked up. Yeah, and that. Smoke bomb recipe. <laughs> Not anymore. All right, where's the bed? It's not the bed that was behind me, is it? Oh, it is. Okay. It's already auto saving there. Come on, save. Quick save. There we go. Wait, did I see? I think when I was watching Majestic. Decay last night. I do believe that he came into here and was able to fill the ammo. Fill ammo from the hot springs. Okay. My primary, no sword weapons, and my special. My ammo is full on my M40. Okay. 
Wish I could refill the silencers too. That would be extremely handy. But it's good to know that I can fill my ammo with that. Where's the ladder? I'm trapped. And I'm going to be adding a link. I don't think I got to it last night, but I need to add a link to my streamer friends. And I'm going to be adding Majestic Decay and a couple of other people to a list on down below where you watch my video here. Check out their streams, especially Majestic. He's playing through this right now on his first playthrough where this is my second playthrough. Uh, you'll probably have a lot of fun watching Majestic. He, he's a wonderful guy and <laughs> it's a lot of fun watching his streams. Every once in a while he drops into these voices and things like that. That it, it's, He makes it really fun to watch. So Make sure you check out the stream for Majestic Decay and give him a follow. He's got a few people linked on his stream as well that are pretty good streamers. Might check them out and give them a follow if you like their stuff too. But if you like how I'm doing the stuff here, the commentary and stuff, then you should like Majestic's stream as well. You guys aren't messing with my bike over here, are you? my bike. Grab this and go over and save up my bike. Then I'm going to take a break for a few minutes and then I'm going to go and... Why is it night again? Okay, come on bike. I'm going to move my bike up there by the shelter. And then I'll take a break. And then I'll go get that collectible bears, black bear poster thing that I wanted to grab. And get to talking about the bears that I was promising talking about. Where is the way back across this river? There we go. Whoa! Yeah, no, I don't think I'm stepping on those. I got a better plan. Come on, guys. Right this way. There we go. Now that I've set them, I can't step on them. One of the reasons for taking a break here for a few minutes is to let my roommate actually get all settled in. He just got home, and that's what all the noise you're hearing in the background is, is him getting food and getting settled in. <laughs> so I'm going to take a break so that he quits having to try to be quiet behind me. Oh, great. People probably didn't hear that, but he says, what do you mean trying to be quiet? Ruining your stream is half the fun of my weekend. <laughs> Where's that bed? That bed's over here. Quick save, and I will sleep after I get back. So I'll be back in a little while. Yeah, I've been streaming for about an hour. I'm going to take 
a little bit of a break here, probably about 30 minutes worth of a break, and then pick the stream back up. This is Shade's Daughter, also known as Shades on the Mic, and I will be back in about 30 minutes. Get that saved and pause the stream.